Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here today with my week 12 picks for you. Now, I am going out of town for Thanksgiving to my sister's place up in lovely East Syracuse, New York. So, I am recording this video before Monday Night Football. Which means we do not know for sure what my final record from week 11 was. It will either be 9-5 and five or 10-4. and four. Now, either one of those is pretty good. I'll take either one of them. But we don't you know, just figure it out because I, I took the Eagles in the Monday night football game. So if the Eagles won... You know that I am uh, ten and four, and if the Eagles lost to Kansas City, then you know that I am nine and five. <coughs> so that's where we stand. And by the way, I do want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I'm planning on having one myself, but we will get on with these picks so that you have my picks for the week. Now, as I said, we're doing week twelve, and week twelve is a full slate my friends, a full slate. And uh, there is probably even, let me see here, yes, there's going to be a few games on Thursday, and even one this year on Friday. So the first game on uh, Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, is the traditional Packers-Lions game. And let me go up here and get my, uh, let me go get my marking pen We'll do it in green today just to sh change it up for you. So you got the Packers at the Lions. Now, as you know, the Lions <coughs> were at home against uh, the Bears last week, and they almost blew it. But they didn't because the Bears allowed 17 points in four minutes, which is really a, uh, it's got to be some kind of a record. But anyway, the, the Lions did pull that one out. They scored a lot of points, as they do. And uh, the Packers beat the Chargers, but the Chargers made a lot of mistakes. Eckler fumbled at the five-yard line. There was at least an interception or two thrown. There was a missed pass. That um, I mean, the Chargers made a lot of mistakes that were just careless mistakes that could have um, caused them to win the game instead of lose it. I'm still not convinced about the Packers. I don't think that really they're that good. We're going to go with the Lions. So mark me down for the Lions right there. Now, the next Thursday or Thanksgiving Day game, if you want to call it that, is, <laughs> and it's not going to be for the Commanders. <laughs> the Commanders are visiting the Cowboys, and the Cowboys are hot. They've won like five in a row. They're beating everybody. I know that they beat up on the Panthers last week, but hey, you got to beat the teams that you're supposed to beat, especially and, uh, you know, in Dallas, you know, they've it's been a little bit of a challenge for them in the past. Um, the Commanders, uh, the Commanders lost somehow to whoever it was they played. I forget who they played, but I know that I picked the Commanders, the Giants. The Commanders somehow lost to the Giants. That is crazy bad. Um, and... So are they. So we're going to go with the Cowboys here in the second Thanksgiving Day game. And that brings us to the last of the Thanksgiving Day games. And that's the 49ers at the Seahawks. I'm not going to leave you in any suspense here. We're just going to go right with the 49ers on that one. Mark me down for the 49ers. They're playing really good football. And uh, the Seahawks lost last week to not a great team. So, yeah, we're going to go with the 49ers there. Now, the next game you got is the Dolphins and the Jets. The Jets are at home. The Dolphins are on the road. The Dolphins have had some challenges on the road, but the Jets have had some challenges scoring, like just scoring. I think last week was their first touchdown in like five weeks, something like that, and there was only one. So, <laughs> so the Jets' offense is putrid. It's I think they're in a contest with the Steelers to see who can have the worst offense for an entire football season. But uh, I digress. We're going to go with the, with the Dolphins here. Mark me down for the Dolphins to beat the Jets handily. I'm saying handily. Uh, the next one we've got is uh, the Buccaneers at the Colts. The Colts are home in this one. The Buccaneers, 
They got beat last week, as I had predicted they would. The Buccaneers are not very good. They are just, they're having a tough all-around time. Um, and the Colts, well, they've got, uh, they got Minshew at quarterback. And, uh, you know, they got a decent defense, but, you know, I've just got a feeling about this one. I'm going to go with the, uh, going to go with the Buccaneers on that one. Take the Buccaneers to beat the Colts. Buccaneers on the road. And I don't even like um, Mayfield, so you know that I really think the Buccaneers are going to win that one. Now, the Patriots and the Giants. This is two teams that are having crappy years. They're crap. They're just warmed over garbage, both teams. The Giants are at home. The Patriots are on the road. The Patriots got the best coach of all time running the team. The Giants, well, they got a, they got Dayball, and he's he's basically new. He this is like his second year, I think, running the Giants. Um, <clears throat> this is a tough one. I don't, you know, I don't know because the Patriots have a crappy offense too, and so do the Giants. And um, man, this is tough. I'm going to go with the Giants, just because they're at home, because both teams are warmed over crap. Next, we have the Steelers and the Bengals. Now, I picked the Steelers last week because I said the Steelers always figure out a way to win, no matter who they're playing against. Well, last week they were playing against a rookie quarterback for the Browns, and uh, they proved me wrong. They lost. They managed to lose to a rookie quarterback because that offense is so bad. The Bengals are at home. The Bengals have... Um, they don't have Burrow. They're not going to have Burrow. They're going to have that backup. But I still think the Bengals have an all-around better team. So I'm going to go with the Steelers. On, or I'm going to go with the Bengals on that one. Bengals! Mark it down. Next one you got is the Panthers at the Titans. Again, this is, a ma this is like you might as well flip a coin on this one. Um, the Panthers are crap. The Titans aren't really all that good. I know Lavis had that one great game. Um, but... You know, since then, he's lost, like, one or two games. So, um, yeah, this is a tough one. And I just got a gut feeling that the Panthers are going to do something to pull it out. I I don't know. Uh, it's like one of those, you know, you shouldn't pick the Panthers, but I'm still going to. Next one you got is the Jags at the Texans. Now, the Texans are at home, and C.J. Stroud is, I mean, that dude is the real deal. The Jaguars have already lost to the Texans once, and I think that was um, in one of the foreign countries, England or something. Uh, but they've already lost to the Texans, and uh, like I said, the Texans, you know, they got the tape of that game. So do the Jaguars, but I don't think that's going to help the Jaguars. I'm going to go with the Texans. I'm going to go with Stroud and the Texans on that one. Next one you have is the Saints at the Falcons. The Falcons are at home in this one. Neither team is really all that great. I'm going to go with the Falcons. I don't even have a really great analysis for why the Falcons should win. They're just at home, and I think they're going to beat the Saints. Next one we have is the Rams at the Cardinals. Now, Kyler Murray is back for the Cardinals, and the Rams have been having a tough time. They're not playing. Like, at the start of the year, they were a real exciting team that opened it up and scored a lot, and... They looked like they were, you know, good. But lately, that hasn't been the case. And the Cardinals have lost two pretty close games. I think they lost both games, yeah, with Kyler Murray at quarterback. But I'm going to pick them to win this one. I'm going to pick them to win this week against the Rams. Next one you got is the Browns at the Broncos. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this one. You've got that rookie quarterback that I was talking about that beat the Steelers. And the Steelers have a really, really, really great defense. But the Broncos have had a good defense lately. Now, we know they gave up 70 points. But in the last four or five weeks, they've averaged allowing only 17 points. And uh, and they're they're like the uh, they're like the Steelers were before last week. They always it lasts for like five weeks. They just manage to win somehow. They figure out a way to pull it out, and they're at home, and they're going against a rookie quarterback, and they've got a chance now to make the playoffs. I am going to go with the Broncos in that one. 
Next one you have is the Bills and the Eagles. The Bills are visiting Philadelphia. And this is, remember, I did not see Monday Night Football. I don't even know how the Eagles did against Kansas City as of this recording. And um, the Bills, now the Bills last week, they beat the Jets. But, you know, me and some of the guys from the neighborhood could beat the Jets. So, um, yeah, it's the Eagles and the Bills have had issues this week. And I don't think that their win is a reflection of their new offensive coordinator having come up with any big secrets. I just think it's that they played a crappy team and they won. Next one we have is a divisional matchup between the Chiefs and the Raiders. Divisional matchups are always a tough one to call, and the Raiders are playing inspired football under Antonio Pierce. But we're going to go with the Chiefs. And again, I want to remind you, this is without having seen the Chiefs-Eagles game on Monday night as of this recording. So we will see, but I'm going to still pick the Chiefs on the road. Next one you got is the Ravens and the Chargers. People are calling for Staley's head, like everybody is. And they made a lot of mistakes. They made a ton of mistakes. And see, there's the irony. They made a ton of mistakes in losing to Green Bay. Mistakes that aren't Staley's fault, but um, they're still asking for his head. Now, he does make some unconventional uh, decisions, like going for a fourth and one on his own 20-yard line. But um, the Ravens, they're just too good. The Ravens are one of the one of the class of the AFC, probably one of the top five teams in the AFC. And then next next Monday night, you got the Bears and the Vikings. Yes, indeed. Now, I did hear from a guy who watches the program when I put up my picks, and he is picking the Bears to upset the Vikings on the road in Minnesota, but... Not so fast, my friends, as Lee Corso would say. I am going to go with the Vikings. Uh, they've got Dobbs. Dobbs is playing good football. The Vikings made, again, they made some mistakes. Otherwise, uh, without a couple of key mistakes, they, they win last week, I think. So, and the Bears, as I think I mentioned, allowed 17 points in four minutes. So, I think they're trying, they're probably going to go for trying to beat their own record. So those are my picks. Let's take one last look at them. You've got the Vikings winning at home on Monday night against the Bears. You've got the uh, Ravens over the Chargers, the Chiefs over the Raiders, the Eagles over the Bills, the Broncos over the Browns, the Cardinals over the Rams, the Falcons over the Saints, the um, Texans over the Jags, the Panthers over the Titans, the Bengals at home beating the Steelers, the Giants at home beating the Patriots. The Buccaneers on the road beating the Colts. The Dolphins beating up on the Jets, and that is going to happen. The 49ers beating the Seahawks, even though they will be on the road. The Cowboys at home beating up on the Commanders, again, that will happen. And then the Lions at home taking out the Pack. And those are my picks, and um, let's hope that I am that I end up in week in the week 11 picks being 11 and 5 um, or no I can't be 11 and 5 I end up being 10 and 5 instead of wait a minute no 10 and 4 instead of 9 and 5 so that is it for me sportsman Z Bob Zolke with my picks leave your picks below give me a thumbs up if you like my picks let me know what you differ on and uh, I will see you next week after I've had my fill of turkey and stuffing. Goodbye.